The CBI has told a Mumbai court that transactions worth 900 crore rupees could be linked to the motive of the crime in the murky Shinabura murder case. A special Mumbai court has allowed the CBI time till the 30th of November to question Peter Mukherjee in their custody. I आगे अपनी कार्रवाई करें फाइनेंशियल एंगल पे कुछ आपने उठाया था वो क्या मुद्दा था बताइए सिंगापुर में बताइए कि बैंक अकाउंट बैंक अकाउंट है सिना के नाम पे इंटरपोल से मदद ली गई है वो फाइंड आउट करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ट्रांजैक्शंस वर्थ 900 करोड़ रुपीस वाज दैट द मोटिव बिहाइंड शीना बोरास मर्डर द सीबीआई सेस इज इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ट्रांजैक्शंस रिलेटेड टू 9x मीडिया अ कंपनी फाउंडेड ओन्ड एंड कंट्रोल्ड बाय द मुखर्जीस टिल दे एक्सिटेड इन 2009 Money CBI says might have gone into Sheena Bora's HSBC account in Singapore, which the agency suspects could be an underhanded financial deal. The agency has written to the Interpol for assistance. Arrested media tycoon Peter Mukherjee's lawyers claim that the CBI's charges are vague. At this point of time, there are no clear details as to what is the financial transaction. Now, obviously, he's a businessman. Obviously, he has entered into several transactions. But how are they connected with this case? CBI is just exploring as to whether there is some sort of an investment or any kind of money part in Sheena's name. That's it. Peter has nothing to do with this. Peter's lawyers argued that he too was a victim of his wife and co-accused Indrani's devious methods. And he had told his son Rahul that his fiancée Sheena was alive simply because he trusted his wife. Arguments the CBI dismisses. Claiming Peter told Rahul that he himself had spoken to Sheena and vouched for her safety. After forensic psychoanalysis tests, the CBI is going to seek permission to conduct a lie detector test on Peter Mukherjee to establish whether his claims of innocence are true or not. The agency has till the end of the month to gather more details on financial deals that it believes is the motive for a mother to allegedly kill her daughter. In Mumbai, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.